Hi everyone. Today's topic is amino acid. Amino acid is next biomolecule to carbohydrates. Amino acids are the building blocks of proteins. Then what are amino acids? Amino acids are a group of organic compounds containing two functional groups that is carboxylic group and amino group that's how we call it as amino acids the amino group is basic in nature and the carboxylic group is acidic in nature then coming to the structure of amino acid amino acids are termed as alpha amino acids if both carboxylic group and amino groups are attached to the same carbon atom we call them as alpha amino acids and here the R indicates a alkyl group an alkyl group where this R is being deferred for each of two amino acids that is it is going to vary for every amino acid the amino acids mostly occur in ionic form in the biological systems. For example, here it's a carboxylic acidic group, but this H, if it is going to remove, we call it as carboxylic ion. And coming to the amino group, if we are going to have a H NH3 plus, then that is going to be called as ionic form. If here it is C00 minus and here it is NH3 plus, then that this becomes an ionic form in which this ionic form is a mostly occurring in biological systems. Amino acids are essential alpha amino acids. Different substitutes are there. But when this R is, a, is not H, the alpha carbon is going to be asymmetric where symmetry means any two sides are going to have a both thing where we can equally cut but here we cannot cut into the equal parts so that's how this becomes an asymmetric asymmetric uh, carbon and giving rise to isomers so where we can go with uh, two types of isomers are there one is L isomer another one is a D isomer so this isomers are mainly of the mirror images where we can see this ammonia group is going to be taken is considering in these isomers and if this amino group is present on the right side we call it as D isomer and if this amino group is going to present on the left side we call it as L isomer so let's see that one so amino acids are essentially alpha amino acids they are going to have if r is not a h the alpha carbon is asymmetric giving rise to isomers so if see here whatever i said if the ammonia group is going to be present ammonium group is present on the right side we call it as d isomer if the same ammonium group is present on the left side we call it as l isomer and most of the proteins are going to have the constituent of this L isomer that means whatever the proteins containing amino acids they are all present in the L that is levorotatory in nature and nowadays instead of the L that is levo and dextro we are going to call them as in chemistry especially organic chemistry as R and S and then moving to the classification of amino acids uh, majorly the important uh, there are 20 amino acids and these 20 amino acids are being classified into different classes depending upon the different aspects so the first comes the based on the nature of R group so what is an R group it is an alkyl group okay and then uh, we are also going to classify them based on their polarity and then we are also having another classification based on their essentiality that's how we are having the three types of classification one is based on their alkyl group that is r group whether it is an alkyl group or an aromatic group and the second one is going to be their polarity and the third one is 
essentiality. So let's see the first one depending upon the R group. So here is the R group. If the R group is going to be alkyl group, then it's one classification. If they are aromatic, they are having the example. So example of the aromatic, you know the difference between the alkyl and aromatic. So it would be a little longer if you discuss about these two. So I'm not going to uh, in details of it. Just uh, check the examples of aromatic group containing amino acids and the alkyl group containing amino acids. So alkyl is glycine, uralanine, valine, leucine, isoleucine, methionine, and choline are the examples of uh, amino acid containing alkyl groups in the uh, position of R. And coming to the aromatic group containing amino acid, we have naturally two, that is phenylalanine and tryptophan. And coming to the another classification based on their polarity, how it is going to have the hydrophobic amino acids and hydrophilic amino acids. So we have the polarity and the non-polarity, the one which causes the polarity or going to be of all these types that is glycine to your tryptophan forget about this one this is a for R group classification and coming to the polarity or those poses of polarity are all going to be of uh, this concentration okay and just learn it uh, in detail this this is going to be important for your entrance exam point of view but for writing just uh, as a theory exams it's not that much important just to give the examples it's enough then moving to the classification based on essentiality we have two types obviously essential and non-essential so let's come what are what is meant by essential amino acids which you need through your diet because your body cannot make them those are being called as essential amino acid that means your body cannot synthesize by its own it requires through the diet so those are all being classified as essential amino acids then coming to the non-essential amino acids are the one obviously uh, no need of taking as a part of diet because your body can synthesize uh, by itself so those are all being called as non-essential amino acids so here are the examples of essential amino acids histidine isoleucine, leucine and etc and here are the non-essential amino acid examples like aspergine, your glutamic acid all these things okay so that's all about the classification of amino acids